he he was a guitarist, and so we started dating secretly. Yeah. While we were in the band. You proposed like on your birthday, right? Yeah. <laughs> so How do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I had Renee in 2015. So, like four and a half years. Oh. After that. Yeah. Four years. Yeah. Way too soon. <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned for. <laughs> it was like a huge shock. Mm. It was hard. Yeah. Having my son, I realized like, this is gonna be really hard yeah. to be touring and have a newborn. Yeah. But I was, at the time, I toured up until I was nine months pregnant. So. <laughs> oh my God, you're amazing. <laughs> Hi, so I'm here today with Ella <laughs> so were you actually born in California or? Yeah, um, I grew up about 45 minutes north of LA, Yeah. Um, outside Santa Cruz in this little town called Agua Dulce, oh, kind of like yeah. high desert. Mm -hmm. Did your yeah. parents like grow up there as well or? Uh, no, my dad grew up in North Hollywood, my mom grew up in Bakersfield. Oh, like um, all in the same yeah. era, yeah. Yeah, not too far. <laughs> yeah. And then you started like piano when you were like five, right? Like really early on. Yeah, I started playing piano when I was five. My parents had just taken me to this piano shop on like a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And my mom like sat me down and was like, here's a C, here's a book. And then I just ended up playing through the entire book on my own. What? My parents were like, oh wow, you're really like, Damn. she's kind of good at this. And so they rented a piano. Yeah. And got me a piano teacher. And I was just like obsessed. Wow. So like, they didn't, like they literally, they didn't have to tell me to practice. They have to be like, you actually need to stop practicing oh, really? and come eat dinner. Oh my you god. You need to go to so bed. Good. Oh my god. No. Are they, do they do musicians? As, are they musicians as no. well? No. No. Um, my my mom's family is pretty musical, like her extended family, but yeah. no, my parents are not like the most creative. Yeah, what do they do? My dad um, has his own business doing aircraft safety equipment. Oh, that's cool though. <laughs> yeah, he started it um, right before I was born. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what he's done yeah. his whole life. And my mom just raised me and my brother pretty much and yeah. but she's like very crafty and like she was always having us sing oh and um yeah so she's like she's like a really good teacher yeah um yeah yeah, yeah. so you probably got more of your creative side from her if she was like really crafty and stuff I don't know <laughs> yeah yeah what kind of music did they play in the house um a lot of Beatles like just Beatles all the time. I feel like we're always like listening to the Beatles. Um, a lot of Carole King, Joni Mitchell, um, Pink Floyd. My dad's like a huge Pink Floyd fan. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, a lot of rock, yeah. I guess. My mom loves Motown too. Yeah. And so like when she would drive us to school in the morning, like she was always playing. Um, yeah. Uh, Motown. Yeah. Looking back, do you think those songs that they played influenced the music you make now? Yeah, I think because all of the music that they really listen to is very like, um, it's like very uh, melodic based, yeah. you know? I think it was like, like pop music, it was always easy to like sing along and learn all the words. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think like pretty early on, like my brother and I would make them. Um, like our like our own movies and like videos oh, really? and choreographed stuff That's and so cute. lip sync to songs we like. Oh yeah. Ha, is he older or younger? He's two years younger. Oh my yeah. Gosh. Yeah. And he's a musician too. He plays oh. drums and um, produces. Yeah. How do you describe yourself back then growing up? Um. I think I was pretty quiet and shy. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, I was definitely very quiet and shy. <laughs> My best friend was always like the like girl who was like 
just like the center of attention mm-hmm. kind of person. You yeah, know? like they were loud. They were the leader. Um, they were like the cool kid in school. Yeah, and then I was just like their best friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> were you into school though? Um, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> I like I was so into piano, like that's all I really cared about. Yeah, I, I was okay at school, but I just like cared about music. Yeah, and even like. I think, I don't remember, in high school, I, like, even got out of, like, taking some classes, and I would leave school and go to my piano teacher's oh, house, wow. like, twice a week, Damn. and, like, go, yeah. yeah, I was very into it, yeah, I, I went to this college for piano performance oh, as okay. well, and so, yeah, I never really cared about, like, yeah, was music your favorite studying. subject in school then? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In college, I was terrible. Like, if it wasn't a music class, I yeah, I just I I just passed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And back then, your like friends started like singing or in some sort of band, right? When I was in college, yeah, I'm there was these a couple of guys that had um, had just graduated, and they they had like seen me performing because um, I was like always performing in in school classical piano, and they were like oh, you really, like, you have to join our band. Yeah. And, like, you're so good at uh, piano. Like, it would just be so cool. And I'd always wanted to be in a band growing up, like, obviously, because I loved, like, rock yeah. music. And I was like, oh, that'd be really cool. But um, I was going to go, like, get my master's in classical like, oh. music theory. And I don't know, they convinced me. They were like, come on, it'll be fun. They were funny. And they were just like, they all lived together, they had a yeah. house together, and uh, I was like, why not? I'll just, I'll do it. So yeah, so last year of college, I started playing in a band. Oh. And that's when I really started, like, singing. Yeah, so you never even really thought about it, like, back before that, in, like, no. high school? No, But you have such an amazing voice, how did you... I didn't sing, I didn't like singing no. in front of people in high school, not, not really. Yeah. And I, 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 I sounded terrible when I did. <laughs> it's true. Was college something that you wanted to do, or did your parents kind of like, okay, you have to get a degree? They, yeah. Yeah. It was kind of like, you, you're going to college, you have to go. Yeah. So I picked a college based on, like, location, pretty much. So Where I went to a school in Costa Mesa, because it was by the beach. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, well, if I have to go to school, I'll just yeah. go to a school where I can go to the beach every day. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was, like, really, like, I had a really, like, bad, like, last two years of high school. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was super depressed, and so, like, I just, like, as long as I could get out of town and, like, away from my, like, high school friends, I was happy. Oh, so it was, like, to do with, like, your friends back there, or, like, the surroundings and environment. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, like, did not care about going to school, but I was excited that I was going to go to school for piano. And my parents were like happy yeah. that I was gonna study piano. And oh, there was like a really like quick moment where my dad, not a quick moment, but there was a lot of like little moments throughout my life where my dad be like, "Well, you could, you know, if you wanted to like take over the business one day, or you <laughs> kind of do this." And I was always like, "I don't want anything to do with business." Yeah, <laughs> I'm like not a business-minded person, which is funny because then now I've realized that like. <laughs> being an artist like it, you are basically have, it's like your own business yeah you're an entrepreneur you're an entrepreneur <laughs> and you are running your own business especially as like an independent artist um yeah I'm like not just like my own boss but I'm like a boss of a lot of people and now I kind of feel like maybe a couple of business classes would have been good <laughs> <laughs> being so into piano did you do some like um performances or compositions um, yeah, I did a lot of classical performances. Yeah. I, uh, when I was in school, I didn't really write music either. Mm. Not like, not class, like, yeah. not compositions. Yeah. I would make stuff up, but it was very, like, emotional based. Like, yeah. I would, um, I would just, like, sit down and try to play, like, a feeling. Oh. So if I, like, felt, it was kind of an exercise I did with myself, too, that I, I think a piano teacher taught me to do a years ago but um I would sit down and just be like okay I feel I feel like there's a storm inside me and Mm -hmm. so then I would sit down and play like what does that sound like yeah and I'd be like 
okay, this is what my storm sounds like. And that was really how I always ex like expressed myself because I yeah. didn't like being like straightforward with mm. people. Like if I was feeling like like really sad or depressed, like I didn't yeah. want to tell anyone that. And I would just hope that like if I played it enough that people would be like, oh, she must be like, yeah. she must be sad because she's playing really sad oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Or like she must be happy or like, she must be going through a hard time, or I yeah. don't know. I like always just try to convey like my emotions through like how I was playing piano, mm -hmm. and which is kind of like in turn like is how I ended up uh, writing songs. And I feel like with like writing lyrics and singing, like, it's kind of like the same thing where you can express yourself, but you don't have to be. You know, you can kind of mask it. Yeah. And uh, uh, it makes it a little bit easier to to say something that's difficult, I guess. Mm -hmm. Who were your favorite composers back then? Uh, Chopin. Yeah. Yeah. What about his work? Um, it just, I think it just, it just felt so heavy and like. I don't know, to me it was just so emotional mm -hmm. and I could really like lose myself in it. Yeah. And but at the same time it was really like challenging. Mm hmm Um like musically challenging. Yeah. And then so did he graduate college? Yeah. And then, and then you just went straight on to the band, so you didn't have like much time in between. Yeah, no, I, I like moved right out of my dorm into the band house. And uh, wow. just did that for like what is it long. actually like being in a band house? Like you live together, it's you make awful. music together. I mean, it was like great for a couple of years, but it's like, it was intense because, yeah, you're you're making music together, which like, being in a band is just really hard in general. Um, so you are vulnerable with each other, and then you sometimes, if you're angry yeah. with them, like you use that oh against gosh. them, and so there's a lot of drama, which is why the band didn't work out. Yeah. And then you met your, like, boyfriend back then, like, pretty early on, like, when you were joining in that band, right? Yeah, yeah. He he was a guitarist, and so we started dating secretly yeah. while we were in the band, which was Is bad. that, like, you're not allowed to? Is that what They had, did? like, yeah. they yeah, they had, like, made a rule between the three of them before I joined the band that no one would be allowed to date me. Oh, okay. But, and I had no say in that. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, we fell in love, and so it didn't matter to yeah. us, because we knew it was going to work out, I think. Yeah. Like, we didn't see it as being a distraction for the band. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we started dating, got married, got yeah. married really young. And How old were you back then? I was 24 when we got married. You proposed, like, on your birthday, right? Yeah. <laughs> so How did sweet. you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he did. That's so funny. <laughs> I, like, forgot about that. Some days I forget what day we got married, how long we dated, what year we met. I don't even know. I'm yeah. So how did you realize he was the one that you wanted to marry? I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, spur of the moment? Yeah. I honestly always thought I'd get married, like, a lot older. Um, just, like, I thought I'd be more independent mm -hmm. for, before. Like, but I feel like I just went from, like, living, like, in, the co in, like, college dorms, living with, like, nine girls. Yeah. To living with six roommates in a, in a band. Oh, yeah. And then to being married. Like, I never had alone time, really. Yeah. Or, like, you know, I never had a place on my own. And I didn't really have, like, a relationship outside of, like, that, like college and band life which yeah. is fine but yeah it was just like it all just kind of just happened so I don't yeah. know if I ever like realized it just felt right yeah what was what's his personality like um I don't know he's funny <laughs> <laughs> he's funny he's really talented he's a guitarist and yeah plays a lot of other instruments and He's really smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then how long after did you um, have your son? 
Um, let's see. I had Renee in 2015. So, like four and a half years. Oh. After that? Yeah. Four years? Yeah. Way too soon. <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned for. <laughs> But um, but it turned out good. Yeah. But yeah, it was like a huge shock. Mm. It was hard. Yeah. But after that, you were a bit like depressed, right? Or like miserable? Yeah. Well, I, I wasn't miserable when I was pregnant. I just was like, I did feel like I was struggling because I, I didn't know how like, I didn't really like know how my life was gonna look like being a musician, but with both of us being musicians, and like not feeling like we, either of us were in a place where we felt like stable, or like mm. even really knew what we were doing next, um, and so, I was touring at the time with a, with another band with Borns, mm -hmm. and which I loved doing, and I kept like I kind of kept telling myself like yeah, this will just keep working out, right? Like, I'll have a baby, and then I'll go back on the road. Mm -hmm. And then as it got closer to, like, having my son, I realized, like, this is going to be really hard yeah. to be touring and have a newborn baby. And, like, his career was really just starting to take off. And yeah. um, Horns' career was starting to take off. So I knew, like, I have to, like, I have to just... I gotta do something where I am, you know, where I'm in control of it. I yeah. either need to, like, go get, like, a real job, or I need to yeah. do my own yeah. artist career yeah. thing. I don't know. Did you actually get a real job in that time, or were you always... No. Oh my gosh, you've done music your whole life. Yeah, I've had a couple other jobs, yeah. but I was, at the time, I had toured up until I was nine months pregnant. So. <laughs> oh my god, you're amazing. Damn. It was hard. I mean, it wasn't... It was fun. It there was hard, hard moments. I mean, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was good. The band was like... I mean, I love that band. They're just yeah. like family. So they took good care of me. Yeah. And after... Actually, after when you um, got married, you had some like financial... Like you were going out a lot or like spending a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean... I feel like it's just something you do when you're, when you first get married and yeah. you just don't have like, well, I don't know, maybe because we were just young mm. and we, I just, we just didn't have any sense of like, we should be saving money mm -hmm. or we didn't even like, we just like made, we just tried to make as much money as we could to get by so we could mm. keep like making music. Yeah. And so we... Yeah, we just spent way too much money. I mean, we were going out all the time. We're just yeah. What was the partying. turning point that you realized that you wanted to be more like conservative in your spending? I don't know if I have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mostly like ha I think having it's crazy, but having a kid is re it's really expensive. Mm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's like before, like we didn't, ha you know, like. You can just not eat for a day and it'd be fine. Or, yeah. You know, we just eat like cheese and crackers for dinner and mm -hmm. that would be okay. And then when yeah. you have a kid, you're like, oh, I gotta like, I gotta get real groceries. Yeah. And you realize like, wow, oh, groceries cost a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. It's just so different. It's like, you know, it's just stuff you don't think about when yeah. you're living, you know, very much for yourself mm -hmm. and like, yeah. When you have someone depending on you, who like you're responsible for, it's a lot. And I think that's why I like. I think that's why I started writing songs, mm -hmm. and um, just knew like that I just needed to be like a solo artist, yeah, so that I could make that happen. Mm -hmm. How has your relationship with your husband changed or grown since you've had Renee? Um. It's just, I think it's hard. I think it's actually, it, it's it's good. It's great. I, I, I still love him. But it's really, <laughs> um, I think it's actually our relation, the way that our relationship has changed having Renee is harder than just the fact that we have a, 
baby. Like, mm -hmm. um, I think that it has been the hardest part of being a parent. It's like, I don't know. I think it didn't help that uh, I, w I went through postpartum depression. Mm. And um, I think it's really challenging for relationships like... Um, it took us a long time to, like, one, realize that, like, I was actually dealing with something that needed to be treated. Mm. And I, like, just was such a different person during that time. Yeah. And, like, as supportive as he was, um, I think it was just hard to be there for me because I, I, I talked so differently and mm. just acted so out of character. It's really hard. Yeah. Because you... I think that's just that's how it is with like a lot of like mental illnesses it's like the person looks the same it doesn't seem like anything is wrong but mm -hmm. they just seem like a different person on the yeah. inside and so that was really hard I think a lot yeah. of stuff like we did I don't think I got help as soon as I should have mm. and so I think so I, I don't know I think some of it yeah. was just it was damaging yeah to us. How did you realize that you needed help and what, was there like a turning point? Yeah, I I remember the day I, I walked to my friend's house, my, my friend Haley, who lived like less than a mile from me. And I was like, it was the first day I tried to like exercise by myself. Mm. I think Renee was like nine months old. And I was like, I'm gonna go on a run, which ended up just being a walk. Yeah. I'm not a very good uh, exerciser. <laughs> um, and I, I walked to her house, and we were talking, and I don't know. She said something. I don't remember what she said, but I just remember sitting on her bed and being like, wow, yeah, this isn't me. Mm. Like, this isn't who I am. Like, what is... Who am, like, who is this person that's, like, taking over my body? Yeah. And I was like... Oh, this is like this is way more than me just being like feeling resentful or mm -hmm. feeling just being selfish that like um you know that my life isn't my own anymore or um I'm not just tired like I, actually something physically is happening to me and I think like mm -hmm. I need to go talk to someone about it yeah um but yeah that and then like at that same time uh, I think one of the, what, like, something that's, like, really crazy about, um, what just your body goes through when you're mm. pregnant and, like, mm. and afterwards, um, just, like, with hormones and breastfeeding and, like, breastfeeding is such this, like, uh, it's just this crazy thing <laughs> that it's just still, it's so weird to me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I really struggled with it because I had this, like, pressure of, like, I have to do this. Because mm -hmm. it's what good moms do. Oh. And, like, especially in L.A., I think, uh, yeah, there's, like, a little bit of, like, a stigma around, like, that you have to breastfeed. And, oh. Um, but it was actually making me really depressed. Oh. And I just wouldn't give up on it. Because yeah. I thought, like, I, ha I have to do this. And yeah. Just, like, having these, like, these expectations for yourself and these standards that you are, like, feel like you have to abide by. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I finally, at that, t like, at nine months, I was like, I'm going to stop. Yeah. Because this makes me really unhappy, and, like, I just want my body back. Yeah. So I did, and that helped a lot. You're taught to, like, give everything mm. to yeah. your baby. And were you always kind of scared of the music industry? Yes. I... I think being in the band that I was in, I just got, I just saw like glimpses into the music industry because we were always an independent band. And it did seem just like this kind of ominous, mysterious, like, I don't know how to, like, yeah. how do you really, like, break in? Do you really, do you need to break in? Like, if you get it, 
you sign to a label, like, what does that look like? And yeah. feel like, and what happens if it doesn't work out? And we see, like, a lot of our, like, friends' bands sign, sign the labels and get dropped. And mm. then just, like, I don't know. It's kind of seemed like, just seemed uh, like a dead end sometimes. So, yeah, there was definitely this fear of, like, really trying to make it in the music industry, yeah. I guess. Until I realized that you just have to make it yourself. Yeah. And you were, like, uh, writing down some list of, like, goals you had for yourself, your personal life, and your music. And then you realized that a lot of the singers were really young or, like, used, like, some sort of sex appeal. Yeah. Well, it's just when I was trying to, like, find artists who I could be, like, oh, I want to be where they are. Or mm -hmm. want to, like, what did they do in their career that I could... Um, that I should be doing. And it was really hard to find those artists because I just felt like, well, I don't have those same opportunities mm -hmm. that they have. And they started much younger than I did. And they started when they didn't have kids. And um, I just started to feel like, well, if no one, like, if there, if there isn't anyone where I want to be who's been where I'm at, like, yeah. then who do I look to for inspiration? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think that's crazy that there's not that. And then it just made me realize how, how just few, even though like all of, like, there, there are lots of women artists who are enormous, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, Beyonce, Rihanna, Adele, mm -hmm. they're huge artists. There's just not as many of them as there are male artists. Yeah. And then I realized that like, the standards we hold them to are a lot higher than we hold our male artists to. Yeah. Like, to look a certain way, to be or sound a certain way. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot more room for male artists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you think your music has changed from the early songs that you made? I think after I wrote White Noise, well, not after I wrote White Noise, but after I released my song White Noise, I think it influenced me to really, um, to be really vulnerable mm -hmm. in my songwriting. Yeah. Um, whether that came through the lyrics or not, but it just, like, for me to, like, be really personal and reach into personal things instead of trying to write about things that I think people would want to hear mm -hmm. and just realize, like, well... If I want, if this happened to me, if this is an experience I have, it's probably happened to someone else. Mm -hmm. So if I just write about what I'm going through, I'm sure someone else yeah. wants to hear it. But I didn't have that realization until I had released White Noise. Mm. Before White Noise, I really was like, I, I wanted to keep up a really big wall, yeah. I think, between like, how I actually felt and what I would write about. Oh, was there a reason why you, like, sort of had that wall? Um, I think just fear of being, like, rejected. Mm, yeah. Or being like, oh, wow, that's really what you think about that. I don't know, mm -hmm. I just felt really insecure yeah. in my, um, in my thoughts, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But after, um, yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. Like, once you put out a song that's, like, means a lot to you and it's saying a lot of like things that you really feel and then someone listens to it and they're like oh wow that like oh, I really connected with yeah. that you're like oh wow that yeah that's like that is the power of music that's the whole point and it just made me realize like yeah that's I mean those are the kind of songs I like to listen yeah. to so like I shouldn't be afraid to make them mm -hmm. so yeah yeah it's oh, still, it's still yeah. hard to do <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How would you say you've grown as a person since when you started? Um, I, or like I'm since trying, you were younger. <laughs> I'm trying to like, I think I've, I'm, I'm Just cause, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, I think getting better at letting go of some of my like perfectionist tendencies mm. that like, being, I mean being a perfectionist is, is good sometimes, but can so quickly turn negative and I think I've just realized as like like running a business basically as a musician that you just gotta let some things go mm -hmm. um, 
and just like keep moving forward. Yeah. And I think that's something that's always been hard for me to learn, um, especially being a classical pianist where like you just never want to hit a wrong note. Mm. And so it's kind of like that with everything where it's like, yeah. I just don't want to make a mistake. And at the beginning, I would get really just anxious and stressed out if I made a mistake. Like if I, if I did the wrong thing on social media, if I wasn't, mm -hmm. uh, if I didn't say the right thing in a meeting, I was just like so critical of myself. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, and I realized that you just have to let that go because a lot of that stuff doesn't matter. Yeah. And it really, like, I think it did hurt me. Like, I, at the, about, like, a year ago or, like, in January, I was having a lot of meetings with labels. And I don't, I didn't, don't think I, like, said what I really wanted to say mm. in those meetings because I was so scared about saying the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I've grown a lot since then. Now mm -hmm. I feel very much more, like, comfortable in my own skin. Oh, I love that. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last question. What do you want to be remembered for? Remembered for? Um, I think to, I guess, be like a, I don't know, <laughs> um, a good songwriter. Mm -hmm. uh, who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Thank I'd you so happy. much. I love that. Yeah. Aww. Thanks. Bye.